a failed fine artist that fell into cartooning. You know, it's like my path. A pretty organic process creating the characters for Bob's Burgers. The creator was living in San Francisco. I was living in San Francisco. He was at an art show and he was just like, hey, I have an idea for a TV show. I don't know if it's gonna go anywhere or not, but we should um, start working on it together. Within two years of that conversation, Bob's Burgers happened and I got my own TV show at Nickelodeon, like that fast. I created all the characters to look super unique. You turn the lights off, you can know who everyone is in, you know, a shadow, like a silhouette. Comic-Con the first year, like, people were all wearing the bunny ears, and I was like, yes, like, I did it. So I was really excited about that. I'm gonna show you how I draw a picture of a Bob's Burgers character. I always use, um, tracing paper to get my drawings going. You get a picture of Bob going here, so I just try to get, like, the head right. Get the eyes in there. So I get something going like this, you know, like a model, and I spit it on top of this piece of paper and I'll, I'll work off this model. I'll just keep building and building and building until characters like kind of come together. It gets cleaner and cleaner every time. Then you can throw this one away. Then you can start working on this one. Yeah, that works pretty good. You take your paper, you lay them down. Then when you trace the other side of the paper, your character arrives. Once you have a working model, then you can kind of just like lay it in, like there's him sitting down here. But just like, then you can lay it in really nicely. And then you can just erase your pencil lines and you have artwork.